give me a break. Now, the customer, particularly in a small town, is going to go, whoa, what's my sexual preference have to do with a loan? And the customer can say, I don't want to answer. But then the bank has got, you're requiring the bank to tell you that they wouldn't answer. What does the world come to? You and your colleagues ought to hide your head in a bag. This is no country for creepy old men. And it's none of the CFPB's business. My people and I at my agency did not do a good job. And therefore, Congress should give us more money and power. Is that about right? Could use artificial intelligence to kill all of us and hurt us the entire time that we are dying. Bull. If we've learned nothing from this, we've learned that Europe is totally dependent on the United States of America for its security, period. And if were it not for the United States of America, Putin would be in Paris right now. They have expanded it to 81. All of a sudden, they want a book. What the hell's going on at the FDIC? When it said that the people at the FDIC were acting like they were in Animal House or Porky's Revenge, did you read that report? Or refuse. Just answer my question. No, I, I'm trying to be clear. No, you're not. No, you're not. That absence of understanding may not prevent Congress from plunging in with enthusiasm and trying to regulate this technology in a way that could hurt this technology. Uh, we are not making... Yes, you are. No, we're not. And it's, if it's they very don't clearly. answer, the bank has got to tell you. And we have no idea how you're going go to use this information. Have you ever sexually arrest an employee at no. the FDIC? No, sir. Apparently, you're the only one. From Mr. My Becker, you made a really stupid bet that went bad, didn't you? Senator and the taxpayers of America had to pick up the tab for your stupidity, didn't they? Senator, there were a series of events, unprecedented events that occurred that led us to where we are today. No, this wasn't unprecedented. This was bone deep, down to the marrow, stupid. You put all your eggs in one basket. You put all your eggs in one basket. And unless, unless you were living on the International Space Station, you could see that interest rates were rising and you weren't hedged. So I, I find your acceptance of responsibility in, in light of your report to be a bit hollow. The way I read your report, let me say it again. You're saying, yep, we screwed up, but it's not our fault because Trump ate our homework. Is that about right? 